It's March 13th and it's about plus six right now. Such a good weather. We're back for another overnight trip. Should be a good time. Yeah, hopefully we get into some big hikes and wall hikes. That's the mission this time. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. No more snow on the ramp. Yeah, may as well, hey. We'll try it out. I think if we don't get anything within like an hour or two, we'll just... then we'll move. Yeah, we got uh, 24 hours. All right, we're all set up here. Let's start fishing. I'm at uh, about 30 feet here. Drilled all the way across to the point. Chris has a uh, tip up at about five feet. Didn't really take too long. Took about a minute and a half before I got this tulipy. So nice out, no wind. Today we have uh, the man, the myth, the legend. Special guest appearance. Hey Chris, how do you like to be back? Oh, it's wonderful. I'm pretty terrible at fishing though. It's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> Are you marking? Uh, I was a minute ago. Yeah, like I was just using a PK, a little PK spoon. Yeah, I'm using that little micro dinner bell. Okay, that'll work. Ooh. Fish on. Probably a switch. Why? Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Nice walleye. Didn't take too long. Beautiful. Good either size. There's a supper on the PK spoon. I didn't take long at all. Awesome. Get back down there. Chris, halfway. Halfway, yeah. He went from the bottom all the way up. Like I knew he was gonna bite. Oh, he's on again. Got off, got off. I was trying too hard to get it on video. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, not too small. Now does this go? Smaller than the last one, which is okay. Moments later. No, that's a walleye. This guy out. <laughs> Do you mind taking a photo of me? Perfect. Thank you so much. No Alright, well, have this guy for supper. Does this go? Give it to Chris for bait. Another one. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Our little cookie cutter, Cisco.
Somebody else want to use this hole? I feel bad. <laughs> so like at first they like like aggressive movements now they're like in kind of small movements like a wall I almost prime time How many do you want to keep, Chris? Alright, I think we've probably got enough now. Okay. This one's going home. Another nice Cisco. Let this one go home. There she goes. Sacrifice my glove a little bit for it. That's not a good call. Man, I bought the, the clam gloves. Clam gloves? Yeah. Waterproof? Yeah. Like really good? Pretty good. Like I clean the uh, snow out of my hole with my glove on. Wow. How much are they? I should get a pair. Uh, they were they're a little yeah. pricey for gloves. Like they were like 65 bucks. Holy crap. 65. But that's exactly what, what I need. You guys catch anything yet? Yeah, I just uh, released it. <laughs> Releasing your minnow in the snow. Just full of eggs, put it back. <laughs> Drew's got uh, night crawlers. Oh really? Walleye like them. Yeah, that might be a pretty lethal walleye bait right now since they won't have any of it. Yeah, like how does leeches survive the winter? They just hibernate? They just go in the mud and wait till summer? Well, I love them. Sky is getting serious now. <laughs> that's a proper like <laughs> Yeah, that's... That's nice. I'm fully prepared to sleep very, very little tonight. Oh yeah. You're trained because you have two kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're prepared. We should probably pick our spot. We're gonna camp by like 7 though. Just so we don't have to set up in the dark. Yeah, yeah it takes like 30 minutes to get everything set up. Yeah, I have no idea how long it's gonna take. This is a new setup and it's perhaps a little excessive, but it is maximum convenient to have our setup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> start taking it down after you set it up. <laughs> I have it pretty dialed now. How many overnighters do you have in a winter? Uh, this is like eight or nine this winter. Last winter I think I did like three or four, but this winter I kind of went to the next level. <laughs> Oh, this is a better one. Check out that. Good for bait. Oh, yeah, keep that. That's going on this one tomorrow. That's a good. That's perfect. This is awesome. A small school came in. He beat me twice. <clears throat> Check this. One of the smallest tubies I've ever caught. Nice, so we'll use some as bait. It would be perfect. Let's go, we'll let this guy go. There he goes. <laughs> we were popped out. Thought he was a walleye, it's so weird. He was uh, chasing something else at the top, and I chased him up to the bottom, like passing him, and then he saw me. That's what the walleye did too. <laughs> Might be a keeper. Smaller. Another Cisco. What 
are still biting, but very hesitant. Oh, we got off. Yeah. Oh, I fell off again, like. They're not, they're like kissing it now. Alright, let's see if we can get this one. What? Woo! Dad, Lou, you're almost in the water. Is it four? Yeah. Okay. Good thing there is uh, <laughs> five of us. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you back. Another either walleye? Perfect. Minimum hour we should. That's a walleye for sure. Oh. Okay, that was wrong. You never know what you're gonna <laughs> get! <laughs> They act the same. They're different fish. All right, we'll let this guy go. Hmm, doesn't want to go. There. There she goes. Like last weekend there was actually a bunch of people on this side but I think they all left because the warm weather. There was like permanent shacks over there. We don't have to move like right away, I just like pack. But if you want a good to go, like, I mean, still catching them. <laughs> We're on a limited, if you want to set up before dark. Then yeah, is. like we can move like, but I, I feel like it's prime buy right now. For walleye anyways. What time is sunset here? Uh, 6.57. 6.32 Yeah Well why don't we fish till sunset <clears throat> Stick around here for a bit and then we'll Then we'll make the move Like we just need light to set The shack up yeah. but the inside you need lights anyways Alright fellas Have a good later. Yeah Thank Nice uh, seeing ya We'll catch you on the next one Yep You betcha Lou I'm uh I'm contemplating popping a whole light right here Yeah go ahead yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I put my auger in the truck. I'm not going to do it. Hey, 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 I got an auger right here. Oh, yeah. All right. Here, I'll pop you one. Where do you want it? Up here. Okay. Do you want to test out the electric auger? <laughs> no way. No way. Yeah, I've been playing with this guy for a long time. GoPro start recording. Now let's just go. <laughs> like I'm marking loss. That's impressive. <laughs> Alright, we'll let this one go again. There she goes. Can I test it? Oh yeah, go ahead. I used an island uh, a couple weeks ago. And I was not the biggest fan. Once you go electric, you'll never go back. That's the problem. So they're worth it. Yeah, and there's a reverse, and then you can kind of push the slush off. Yeah. And it has lights for nighttime drilling. It, this is, it feels a lot more solid than the Ion does. Oh, for sure. Because this one, you can use your arm. It's like a steering wheel, right? Uh, versus a bicycle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would completely agree with that. And this drills a lot faster, too. There's <laughs> the jaw jacker didn't go because you have a bobber on your jaw jacker. Pretty good one. <laughs> How hard is it to take a bobber off? Oh, my bobber's going again. Come on. 
Is it peeling? There we go. Right out of line. It spooled me. And it's still on there? Feels good? Yeah. No. Not yet. Could be a lot. There. There's a lot of line out. Jeez, I didn't even see. <laughs> there you go. It's gonna be a mess. You want me to take the line up? Oh, let it run, eh? Is he running? Feels pretty good. It's not heavy. I just didn't watch the flag for like the last 15 minutes, so. I don't even remember you had a flag up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Oh, it's oh. stuck on the ice. There's nothing there. It's stuck on the bottom of the ice. Oh! Oh, no way. Unless it's just burnt in. Oh, wait, that could be. Can you get a long stick? Yeah. This fish peeled my whole tip up and he's not still on that. You think he's still there? I think he's in his belly. I don't know. Watch the fucking. <laughs> I feel like the hook got caught on the bottom of the ice, right? And then the fish. I got to get that arm wet, I think. <clears throat> Here, let me hold something for you. I'm just trying to feel for the line. Where is it? What you getting over there, Brett? Yeah, I pulled like three of them. Atta boy! <laughs> Get out. And I'd really rather not stick my whole arm down this hole. Yeah, oh, I kind of have an idea. Here. Like if you just wrap it around once yeah, and then go that. down like that. Is it even long enough or? Yeah, it makes it to the bottom. Oh. Teeth marks, look at the teeth marks. Wow, hey. Holy whole line out. <laughs> oh All no. Right, buddy, you got a, you got 24 hours to go. The old male one. Four foot of water only, hey. Like you felt there was a weight, right? Oh yeah, when I pulled, it pulled back. Oh, okay. And then Shortly after, maybe that. he had it on the side still. That's my he must have just not ate it. Yeah, all the way. it's a lot of line to take to not eat the bait all the way. But like, usually they t take it on the side, right? And then they stop and reposition it and eat it from the mouth. And that's yeah. when you kind of set the hook the second time they start going. Oh man, oh, is there weight on that? That's gonna hurt. So just about seven o'clock. Sun's 
starting to set just falling off the horizon there they did pretty well so far <clears throat> three nice eater walleyes and got for some uh, base pile of Cisco there yeah it's a beautiful night we're gonna move to the big point to set up for overnight do you like to be on my YouTube channel? Sure. <laughs> I've got a face for YouTube. <laughs> Bunch of hose punched here. <laughs> no strategy to it. <laughs> nice. Making our way to the big point. There's nobody left on the lake. Only the diehard is still here. There we go. There's Chris in front of me. I did pretty good in the last spot. We're just gonna set up overnight at the big point. Uh, hopefully get the nice morning bite there. Maybe some uh, nice burbots too. Right now we're just driving across the lake. I'm not too worried. I should be good. We just found a spot that we like. It's about uh, 8 feet here. And then it's 28 feet over there. Chris is just shoveling out a area for the shack. We're glamping tonight. Just having my truck as a spotlight. about 11.30, uh, saw a bourbon on the camera, but haven't caught anything at this new location. Hopefully uh, it picks up soon. The next morning. It's about 7 o'clock. Another beautiful sunrise. It through the night. There's some nice uh, northern lights through the night too. Still no fish. <laughs> Hopefully the morning bite starts soon. Let me show you uh, our setup over the night. Got my cot on the right here with my hoe and transducer over there. The GoPro going, heater, Chris has his cot on this side and his hole here. He also has the camera going. We put some eggshells on the bottom. Apparently it's, uh, it's supposed to attract fish and make it clear on the camera because it reflects the light. Yeah, anyways, that's our setup. Pretty sweet setup. This otter resort is amazing. So big for two people. It's definitely the way to go. The view on this side. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Well, we're making a move. We camped out at the big point here. It was a bust. It was a complete bust. Gonna go back to where we were catching them yesterday. Try that and then if nothing, we'll go to the boat launch there and uh, find something shallower, maybe 20 feet. And then nothing, we're gonna try Echo Lake. Lots of hole hopping. It's not too cold today, it's plus three right now. It is kind of windy, but should be okay. Well, that's where we were yesterday. Yeah, those are our holes. I'll just fish here.
Lakers have the strong. Is this goal? There we go. Alright, let's just go. Okay, we'll let him go. There he goes. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Ooh, this guy has some teeth marks on him, look. Got a big by big pike. All right, back you go. Come on, kick off. There he goes. Fish out. There we go. Chris, I'm dialed in again. Move in again. Spot number four. We fished at spot number four for about 30 minutes and we fished at about 16 feet of water but there was rarely any mark, so we decided to move on to spot number five. Alright, moving on to spot number five. Up we go to Echo Lake, just east of uh, Pasqua here. Bow ramp is a little slushy. Line. Good to be on land again. Ooh, muddy. Muddy, muddy, muddy. No, I really need a car wash. So that green cabin right there is about where we want to be in line with. Okay. One of them anyways. Just be careful of this spot. Okay.
not many cars here. Things we do for fishing, holy. Just caught another nice eater walleye. Have them uh, for supper. Yeah, pretty nice. He bit me like three times and finally ate. Awesome. We're just uh, filling up the walleye and doing a catch and cook here. No way. We see a sucker on the screen. Right there. That's for sure a sucker. If you can focus on the screen, you'll get it. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh, that's a white sucker. That's awesome. Wow, he's just like standing still. Yeah. Is that a long nose? Oh my goodness, we have a sucker. Comment below what kind of sucker this is. That's so cool. Oh, he's backing up. Oh, he's, he's going somewhere. Did we spook him? Dip up, dip up, dip up. Is there a way there? Oh. 12 seconds later. Nice. Just caught my third species. Nice perch. Jumbo perch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stripes. Perch! <laughs> Woo! Nice perch. And uh, I found this thing out of his mouth. Awesome. Better get back down there. It's about uh, 2 o'clock. We've been fishing for 23 hours, almost uh, a full 24 hours. Chris is just uh, starting the stove here. Gonna have some catch and cook. <laughs> oh yeah. He, he brought uh, he brought his uh, full kitchen here. I'm a fan of this setup right now. <laughs> Olive oil. Got the walleye soaking in some francs. And then got the catch and cook. The famous catch and cook. I've never There's tried it yet. And we have birch on the screen. Multitask. <laughs> Pretty windy today. Let's show uh show them the catch and cook here. Crunchy, we're gonna summon the crunch. Almost hungry. Not quite, hey? Mm -hmm. uh, getting there. <clears throat> A little gooey in the bag, but not sorry. Doesn't get more fresh than this. Heck yeah. Cooking on the ice. I just need that flag to go on. Yep. We drill a ton of holes here. What's this one for? To put the fish when it's done. Oh. <laughs> I really have a plate with me. Yeah, I didn't bring one either. Got some catch and cook on the ice here. Looking good. Golden crispy. Second batch is going. That's the best part right there. The wing. 
I love all I mean. You gotta have them. Cheek. And one more cheek. <clears throat> We're just fishing outside today. We just use our trucks to block the wind. Works pretty good. Let's have a bagel with uh, mayo, walleye, and franks. That's how you do it. Shout out to the missus for making the bagels. Oh, like homemade bagel? Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, That's awesome. We're leaving it up out here. No, if I could just catch something, hey? <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> oh, delicious. It's just past 3 p.m. We've uh, officially passed the 24 hour mark. Chris and I have been fishing the entire 24 hours. <laughs> Pretty freaking tired. <laughs> I'd go another 24. Hey? I'd go another 24. Chris would go another 24. I would if there was more fish biting. Flag, 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 flag. Fish on! Fish on, <laughs> Pike! Feel him? Oh yeah. There we go. Only the 8 inch hole, so this is gonna be tougher. Yeah, yeah, don't horse him. <laughs> take it easy, take it easy. Oh, he's running? Yeah, a little bit. That woke me up. I just can't tell if he's. how big he is. Is there tension? He's real big. Can you see what's going on? Yeah. We ate the like 13 Cisco. Can't be that small. This might be a drill in the whole situation. You think? No, I wouldn't risk that. My <laughs> I'm so nervous for you right now. <laughs> Oh, there we go. He's running. Yeah, there's some weight there. <laughs> I still can't really tell. Come on. He might run a few times yet, hey? Yeah, oh yeah. Gotta be hooked pretty good. Oh, this hole is small. If you're able to turn around, I can get the better video of you and get, I can get your face. There we go. Into the sunlight. The light is on you, Chris. No pressure. You're gonna lose the arm here. why it's fighting so funny. Oh, he's, she's hooked all over. We're gonna need, we're gonna need some pliers. I get some, uh, I get some pliers. Should have uh, grabbed the pliers before. She is a fat pike. She is a fat pike. Oh my goodness. 
huge. Now focus. There we go. I'm gonna give her a quick drink and then I'm gonna walk her quickly over to the hole and we'll give her a measure. Oh yeah. Always wet your metal bomb board. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you can hold her for a bit more. One, two, three. <laughs> oh yeah, I got I got it. Right. Oh, yep. Okay. 49% battery. Give her a quick measure and then we'll send scroll. There you go. Touching. 36 inches. 36 and a quarter. Beautiful. Oh, she's fat. Beautiful fat spring. Baby. We'll get a release here. Oh, she was ready. Woo! Oh. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Finally. Oh, my hands are freezing. Oh, That's nice, man. Awesome. Congrats. I waited all trip. You waited 24 plus hours for that fish. Especially after getting spooled yesterday on Mitchell on that side. Hey, third time the charm. Third time the charm. That's some sweet, sweet redemption. Yep. Awesome. Congrats. Yeah. Off to another Cisco. <laughs> That's awesome. Great way to uh, celebrate the 24 hours on ice. That's awesome. All packed up, ready to leave. Tracy is still going to stick it till another big pike. Some walleyes and perch. <laughs> nice out, beautiful. Can ask for a better day. Yeah. See you later. Oh, that was a successful weekend. It's great catching up with Chris. Got a bunch of walleyes and uh, perch and a boatload of Cisco's. And at the very end, a great end to the trip, Chris caught this beautiful monster pike. <clears throat> she was huge, so fat. Yeah, it was pretty successful. Hopefully we can make a video out of it. The road got a lot slushier throughout the day here. Can we get home without being getting stuck? Oh yeah, we're off the lake. On road. Oh, it's deep. Oh, wow. 